is the geometric series. So a geometric, the geometric series is a specific, uh, a specific uh, type of series, and it basically, um, uh, this I'm just going to give you some a quick rundown of it. Most of you, or many of you, might have already seen it before. It is taught at at high school level, but certain curricula do teach it. So anyway, k equals zero to infinity a r k. Uh, basically is the um, is the uh, geometric series and um, basically if you look at it starts with k equals zero so a plus a r plus a r squared plus a r so this is the geometric series now the geometric series well known the first term is a and and the common ratio it's called the common ratio and first term a Okay, so this uh, basically, uh, it, what's interesting about the geometric series is there's a condition on the geometric series that if, uh, that it's, uh, because it's uh, nth term, which one can derive quite easily, but I'm not, I'm not going to derive it here, I'm going to give it to you quickly. Basically, the nth term of a geometric series, a well-known geometric series, is this. Sn is a into 1 minus rn or 1 minus r. Now, what we know about a geometric series is that what we can see from this is um, as uh, this would be the partial sum essentially of the geometric series. So if if we look at the limit as n goes to infinity of S n, then that would be the limit as n goes to infinity of a into 1 minus r to the n over 1 minus r. Now the only thing that's affected by the n is the r to the power n. Clearly, uh, that is, there is, we, we see a conditional um, finite limit here and that is based on the condition that r should be less than 1 so if r is less than 1 then limit n goes to infinity of um, a into 1 minus r n over 1 minus r actually the r n r n will go to 0 okay that is if r is less than 1 it's less than 1 Okay, and of course uh, we're talking r positive. Okay, we're not talking can't be a negative number, so r in size is less than one. Then this, in fact, goes to a over one minus r, and that's also a well-known um, result for a geometric series that the infinite sum of the geometric series, provided the common ratio is less than one, is in fact a over one minus r. So the series converges to a over one minus r as long as uh, this condition is there, which is the common ratio is less than one. So let's look at an example. So here's an example of a geometric series, k equals two to infinity, five, one third to the power k. So this is a geometric series with the common ratio one third. So r here, um, Basically, if I write a couple of terms of the series, the first term of the series would be uh, 5 into 1 third squared sorry, plus 1 third cubed and so on and so uh, on. And we go up to say 5 1 third to the power n, the nth term, okay? And Clearly, R, the common ratio here, is a third, and A, okay, is 5 into 1 third squared, which is 5 over 9, okay? Now, of course, in this particular example, as R is 1 third, it means that it satisfies um, R being less than 1, clearly. Um, and therefore, and therefore, we we say that the series converges to a over one minus r, which in this case uh, would mean. So therefore, we end up with basically just five over nine divided by one minus a third, which gives us five over nine divided by two thirds equals five sixths, right, or 0.8333. So this is how a geometric series, given that its common ratio is less than one, 
uh, in fact, can be shown to be convergent. And in fact, we know that the sum converges to, for instance, in this case, 5 over 6. So basically, well, what now happens is, what we're going to do is, the quick example, quick example, let's look at a quick example of uh, another um, geometric series, k equals 0 to infinity, 7, say 8 times, minus 7 over 2 to the power k, okay? So now, we can clearly see that um, here, if we look at the first few terms, I mean, they, the common ratio seems to be minus 7 over 2. So uh, we would say that r is minus 7 over 2, which means the size of r is greater than 1. And if the size of r is greater than 1, this implies that the series is divergent. Okay. So that's a quick example of a geometric series. Now, but of course, not all series are geometric series. This is a specific type of series, a very niche kind of um, area of series, uh, particular family of series, uh, so to speak.